What's going on, y'all? Neo Synapse back here for another DCUO video. The stats revamp is dropping tomorrow. Uh, as of this time, I should say. It is now, what, almost 11 or something like that? And I am super tired. I've been working all day, so if I sound crazy during this video, please forgive me. Uh, but they did put a hot fix um, note on the uh, forums there for Game Update 73, which is the stats revamp. Now, if you don't know what the stats revamp is, you can check uh, my previous DCO video where Ed and I talk about some of the things that are going to happen. We answer a few of the questions. But anyway, let's get into a little bit of what's going to happen here. Uh, first of all, uh, the stats revamp um, brought an update to gameplay in terms of balance. Uh, combat and progression. As for the core of what's going to happen, um, there are going to be new player stats according to the forums. They have adjusted all character stats and smoothed out how they increase across levels and tiers for greater consistency. Uh, they redistributed where character stats are obtained for better variety and choice in progression, and they removed the combat rating differentials so that your stats directly determine your effectiveness in combat. So basically, all things being equal, um, if you are a level, you know, CR 195, you're not going to be bested by a CR 198 just because they are CR 198 as far as damage is concerned. And uh, that goes for the NPCs as well. Um, the difference between your combat rating isn't going to matter as much uh, as far as that's concerned, right? Um, new skill tree. They've added new focuses to differentiate builds between weapon expert, super powered, and hybrid play styles. They reconfigured the stats skill tree with escalating stat returns appropriate for all play styles. Be sure to read the descriptions if you need some guidance. Basically, when you get into the game tomorrow, I'm sure the game is going to be down forever, uh, you will see the new focuses. You'll see the hybrid, you'll see the um, weapons expert, and the super power. And as you go through each of those, you'll see that uh, every successive skill point you spend increases exponentially the benefit of spending skill points. So the more skill points you have is the more the stats will matter, basically, um, for the better. For the new power trees, they remove power points altogether. Um, all abilities are unlocked and available as you level. Um, they remove the advanced mechanics and weapon mastery bonus damage. Um, so all abilities are a viable option. They buffed iconic and movement mode powers. So like Batman's Batarang or Superman's Heat Vision, um, they do more damage now, but you don't have to spend power points since there are no power points. You spend skill points to get them. Um, how viable they're going to be... Um, depending on your power set and all of that, that's all going to get worked out by by the people testing and things like that when it hits live, you know, coming, building loadouts and all that kind of stuff. We're going to see a lot of new loadout videos and things like that, so uh, be prepared. Um, they adjusted NPC stats and how, and how um, they increase across levels and tiers for greater consistency. Um, and they removed the same combat rating differential like I was telling you about for the NPCs. Um, and they rebalanced content across the game for a more consistent experience. But they're saying that uh, it's gonna be a continued thing basically. So people are gonna say, oh hey, these guys are doing too much damage for where they are in the game, or these guys are doing too little damage, or whatever the case is. And as they go, they'll adjust for that. Um, they've standardized ability costs and cooldowns and durations um, and the strength across the power set so <clears throat> things in certain tiers in one power set they used to be a bit more powerful or cost more power to do than in another set in the same tier and they're trying to uh, standardize all of that now basically you know all in the effort of, of balance we'll see how well they did as far as that's concerned. Um, 
Okay, so for the stats themselves, they gave some, some updated definitions. Um, defense. What the defense stat is, is that it reduces the damage taken and there is no longer a defense cap. So the more defense you have is the better it is. Dominance, it allows your um, CC effects, your crowd control effects to affect group NPCs. Um, primary, it's a primary stat for shields and the secondary stat for heals. Um, dominance and restoration are always uh, the two big things for shields and for heals, obviously. Um, restoration, the primary stat for heals, <clears throat> and it's the secondary stat for shields. So if you want super strong shields, you go for dominance and then you go for um, restoration. Okay. Uh, might increases damage dealt by all superpowers, now including combos. So your hard light combos, no precision anymore, guys, as far as that's concerned. You're not going to start with a might power and then your follow-up powers are going to be precision-based. All the damage is going to be might from your superpowers. The precision stat only comes into effect when you're talking about weapons. Okay. Uh, power increases your power pool and regen. So the more power you have, the more skill points you put in the power tree is the greater, the bigger your power pool and the faster you will regen power. You know, so that's the stat that's going to be important if you, if you want to use a lot of high cost abilities. Precision, like I said, it doesn't affect superpowers anymore. Um... It, uh, the more precision you have, is the harder you will hit with weapons. Um, vitalization, basically the same old, same old, but it does not affect passive power regen or power regen from weapon attacks with hybrid or weapons expert focus. So uh, what's the hybrid style? It's basically how things used to be. Not 100%, but how it used to be. Uh, you'll use some weapons and you use some superpowers and then you'll use your powers thereafter uh, If you're in weapons expert It emphasizes basically just using weapons um, and using some superpowers to supplement those For superpowered it emphasizes just using the powers basically um, You can use weapons for counters and when you don't have power, but the weapon attacks won't regen power for you uh, utility belts no longer cost marks of victory to unlock the third and fourth slots and now most utility belts will have wild cards they have lowered the cash cost for equipment interfaces the cap is now 2000 and in pvp uh, most normal stat vectors, skill points and mods and all of that, will now work in PvP, but will be scaled to PvP item levels in PvP instances, which is not the same as being stat clamped in a PvP instance. So you'll have to play it to see how it feels, basically. Um, uh, as for powers in general, all combo abilities, like I was just saying, cost power, and they use might. Uh, changing combos to use might and power apparently gives the devs a much better way to compare and balance a combo power set to a non-combo power set. Since all the abilities run under the same rules, it's also easier to understand what stats you need to purchase or mod into for your character based on your playstyle, as opposed to what power set you're using. Okay, um, <clears throat> some good news is that means that combos are no longer vulnerable to counters unless they're channeled abilities. And um, they don't cause counterattacks though. Okay. Superpowers now increase the combo counter. They say superpowers, um, but we in the game, we say supers when we're talking about those 100%, 50%, 25%. Um, costing abilities that's not what they mean here when they say superpowers obviously they're, they're just talking about the might based ability attacks okay um 
controllers power over time. So controllers, you're casting POV, POT, it's now triggered by any superpower. So you don't have to specifically cast, you know, boxing gloves, specifically cast impact, specifically cast what have you. Any superpower will cast POT now, which will make it easier. Um, and you don't have to take up space on your tray with a power you might not necessarily want except for that POT effect. So now you've, you, you've got some more options. Uh, the group power heal abilities, um, you know, when you pump up your hand in the air, like most of those things, um, they prioritize allies with the lowest percent power. So the people who have the lowest percent power will get power heals and the people with the highest percent power who don't need the power heals, they'll actually get weapon buffs now. Okay, so that's, that's a few of the changes that's that's coming on. There's a lot of changes within the powers themselves, atomic, celestial, earth, etc., um, that we're not going to get into here. You can uh, check those out on the forums or when you're you're firing stuff up um, when you get into the game. It's a good read. I suggest you guys look over it thoroughly so that you understand the changes to your specific powers. We'll be doing a few more videos um about specific things at a later time but hopefully this cleared up some of the stuff that's going to happen with stats revamp for you guys um it's going to be very different especially if you if you started after they changed the play style from how it was um initially it's going to be super different it's going to take some getting used to but stick with it let me know how you like it and i'll see y'all next time inside the review Thank you.